Guitar amps and their line of smart amplifiers have really been game changers in the industry, really for their inexpensive cost and their incredible performance. Check the link in the video description to my earlier test of the Smart 3, which I did several videos on. And also Sam at BearVids did a great demonstration video of the Smart 5 versus the Smart 5 Bass. I'm sure most of you are wondering what the differences are between the regular Smart 5 and the Bass version. Again, check for the link in the video description. Sam does a fantastic job covering the differences in these amplifiers. Now today we're going to look at the Smart 5 1 to 2 ohm. At the time of this video, the amplifier is just under $500 on Amazon. Check the link in the video description for the current price. This amp is rated 5,000 watts at 1 ohm, 5,000 at 2 ohms, 2,900 at 4 ohms, 12.6 volts. And yes, this one was sent to me by Tar Amp straight out of Brazil, but there was no agreement that I uh, give them any preference. You guys know how I act. I give you a demo here, show you about the amp, and everything here is my opinion. They didn't watch this video or anything before the matter. So let's get down to it. Take it out of the box. It was nicely packed. It comes with a term of warranty, and it comes with this little remote indicator that gives you uh, the on, the clip, and the protection. And let's peel off that plastic though first. The Smart 5 looks like a typical Tar Amps amplifier with a white outside and the black inside. The dimensions go 16.8 inches long, 9 inches wide, or 2.75 inches on the height, and the millimeter equivalents are there as well. On the one end, you can see the RCA in and outs, the gain control from 0.2 to 4 volts, the high pass and low pass crossovers, the bass boost frequency as well as boost, and the monitor port, which is for the device I just showed you a minute ago. And then you have one speaker output and you have the remote turn on, which is in the center. The speaker outputs are approximately six gauge. On the opposite end, you can see the two fans on the outside and you can see, wow, this thing has got dual inputs and they are huge. These are 2O inputs. But the thing I don't like about it is you have to tilt the amp up to see where the connections are. Notice the two positives are in the center and the two negative connections are on the outside. Again, I don't like the way you have to tilt the amp up to see this. They should have that on the top. Now why engineers do this? Your guess is as good as mine. Engineers are not good at dealing with customers. For connecting the amp, I use dual inputs for one of the inputs and use a single for the other. So I have three 1O inputs and then we power on the amplifier. You can see it does a quick self-check before it actually powers the amp up. A lot of people ask about the dyno settings. We always gain match it to our head unit with a 7 dB overlap with the DD1+. Plus. The high pass is set to the minimum setting. The low pass is set to the maximum setting or the highest. The bass boost is also set to the minimum for the amp dyno test. Now let's fire up the good old SMD, Demore Engineering Amplifier Dyno, to do our RMS power output testing of this amplifier. Before we do that, make sure you check the video description for links to Wilson Audio merch, smash me a thumbs up, and subscribe if you like this content. More like it coming all the time. Now let's talk about the Dyno test. There's three different tests, certified, uncertified, and dynamic. Certified test takes us up to 1% THD. Uncertified takes us up to the clipping point, And dynamic is a dynamic tone mimicking IHF 202 standard. First test we're going to show today is the 4 ohm test. The amp is rated 2900 watts at 12.6 volts. Let's try it out here. Certified 1% THD, 3613 watts at 14.3. So easily beats that rated power uncertified up to the clipping point and yes 3646 watts at 14.25 let's get the little meter stuck back up there so you can see it dynamic test sends a pulse tone to the amp and here you go 35 up jumped up to 3700 watts but our voltage also bumped up a little bit 3728 at 14.72 efficiency wise 85.3 percent at four ohms that's a good number 
Now let's try two ohms. This is where the amp is rated 5,000 watts. So let's try it certified test first. And yes, 6125 at 13.87. So easily bested that number, no problem at all. And uncertified even a little bit higher, 6220 at 13.96. Now how does the amp handle the dynamic burst like a boss <laughs> check it out here over 7,000 watts 14.58 volts color me impressed as far as efficiency goes 82.2 percent at two ohms that's still a good number in my opinion anything over 80 percent now 1.3 ohms is not a test we typically do but since this is a smart amp we're going to try it out and see what we get and there you go 61.21 at 13.92. Again, this shows that constant power between two ohms and lower. So uncertified, 63.53 at 13.93. Well over a thousand watts over the rated power. Again, our voltage is a little bit higher, but this amp really doesn't, doesn't mind the voltage. Dynamic, look at this, almost 10,000 watts, 93.78 at 14.34. Efficiency wise, we think the clamp was an error because we think it's around 85%, but we measured 94%. Now here's the one ohm test when everybody wants to see its rate of 5,000 watts. What do we get? Oh man, almost 5,800, 57.99. So that's a great number. Again, reach the rating plus more. Uncertified up to clipping. Very close to the same, 5843 at 13.99. What about dynamically? Check this out. 11,000 plus watts. Holy moly. Again, efficiency, very good. 85.7, almost 86% at one ohm. So yeah, we're impressed. Results, yo D. This impressive, D is impressed, however you want to say it. You can look, pause if you want to see all the numbers, including the 8 ohm test, which I didn't show, which is right around 2,000 watts. This amp killed it. Now let's do the subwoofer demo next and watch the Woofa's flex. All right, let's try the woofer test. The example here I show is impedance rise and it shows that even when you have your subs wired to one ohm, they're gonna rise much higher than that. That's why amps like this are very impressive. Check this out. demo you just saw I did have an excursion limit on those subs so I didn't get anywhere near 5,000 watts but they were killing it now let's check out what's inside I would say it's smarter than your average amp let's take off the six screws on the bottom pry off that little security seal and see what's inside a lot of people see these and say man there's not a whole lot here these full bridge amps only need half the components of a typical Korean half bridge amplifier but you can see here 25 volt, 4700 microfarad, 105 degrees Celsius for the filter caps on the input. Rail caps are 200 volt, 2200 microfarad, 105 degrees Celsius. And the amp laid out with the fans you can see there that come on when they need to. And the amp performed well, it stayed nice and cool. Let's talk about the things we liked. Unprecedented value, in my opinion, probably the best 5K amp today for the value. 
Smart technology is awesome. It protects you, it protects the amp, it gives you more power. The efficiency is phenomenal. Dual 2 inputs, incredible power, output power as you already seen. Cool operation, the amp did not get hot with the dyno test or the speaker test. Things that could be better, has a single RCA input so you will need a splitter. The potentiometers are horrible, they're very hard to turn with your fingers. The crossovers are really no good, I would use your head unit. No bass remote, come on tar amps, give us a bass remote. And the fans are loud, usually it's in your trunk so that doesn't matter that much. But wow, I don't even know what to say. Overall, this amp blew me away. I knew the Smart 3 was impressive. The Smart 5 is incredible for you bass heads. This amp is way too much for me. My little eight inch subs cannot handle it, but man, they were singing. The whole garage was thumping. I'm just blown away. I really like this amp. I hope it performs well over the years, but I like it. Till next time, Big D, I'm out of here. This amp is a standard Smart 5. It's not recommended for anything under one ohm, but you know us, we're gonna try it anyway. At 0.8, let's see what we get. And 4,700 watts, again, that Smart technology it knows how to current limit the amp so it's not going to explode on you, which that is a great, great feature. Uncertified 4822 at 14 volts. Now let's try the dynamic test at 0.8. And this is where the amp shines. <laughs> Look at this. 14,500, and it keeps counting up. 14,617 watts at 0.8. Well, you know, after we did that, we were like, hey, we got to try 0.67. And don't try this at home. I'm just a big dummy. Let's try that dynamic burst at 0.67. Check this out. Boom! 15,000, 16,000 watts. 16,292 watts. Holy moly. I was just blown away. This thing is incredible. Here is the full dyno sheet. You can pause this if you want to. Please send your friends to watch this video and don't just share this picture. I appreciate it. Big D, I'm out.